Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'm so excited for today's video. I recently saw this on TikTok and knew instantly I had to recreate this neon heart nail design. However, I am going to change it up a little bit. So let's get started. Since I am more focused on just the nail art portion of this, I did already start with my nails prepped and ready to go. First, I started with applying a layer of black nail polish to my middle finger and my index finger. I did two coats each and cured for 60 seconds in between each coat. Once I got all of my black polish applied, I then went ahead with a bright pink on my index finger with two coats as well and cured for 60 seconds in between each coat. Next I did two coats of this blue polish on my pinky finger and cured for 60 seconds in between. Now going back to the neon heart design, instead of doing hearts, I decided that I thought it would be super cute to try and do clouds. So now I'm just going in with a white polish on a liner brush and I'm going to lay down the base lines for the clouds. Something I noticed along the way, if this is something you wanted to try, was not putting too much product on my brush. This is sped up a bit as well. I didn't find it overly hard, but very time consuming, but so worth it in the end. Now 
and after doing a little bit of the artwork when I get to a good spot and I'm feeling really good about how it looks I do go ahead and cure for 60 seconds just so in case I bump anything I don't mess up the design that I've done Once I got all my clouds down and I liked how they looked, I then went in with the same gel polish I used on my pinky. I did add a little bit of base coat just to thin it out and make it a little bit more jelly-like. I personally find that a jelly or semi-transparent polish works the best for this part because you do want the lines to show through from underneath a little bit, but you don't want it too jelly because then it doesn't show up on the black. I am also overlining quite a bit. Overlining gives it that neon glow effect.
Now that I'm finished my blue clouds, I'm going to go in and do the other ones with the same pink polish. I'm done with my clouds for now. I'm gonna go in on my blue nail and the pink nail and just add a sparkly holographic top coat. And because the neon clouds were quite time consuming, I just wanted to keep the other two nails very simple. So I just went with my dotting tools and the opposite nail polish color and did some four point stars and little dots around the nail.
now that I'm all done with my nail art on my blue and pink nails, I'm going to go back to the clouds and with a very little amount of white gel polish on my liner brush, I'm going to very lightly re-outline the clouds and then do the same thing for the rest of the And now I'm just going to go in and top coat all of my nails. In her video, she did use a matte top coat, but I decided to go with a shiny top coat just to see how it would turn out. And I do still think they came out really, really nice. A while later, I did go back in off camera and add a matte top coat to also see what that would look like. So I'll insert a clip or a picture at the end so you guys can see as well. But I'm just not sure. I really feel like I liked both. Let me know down in the comments below which was your favorite, matte or shiny top coat. After curing my top coat, I just went ahead and wiped off the tacky layer. And then added my nail cuticle oil to replenish and rehydrate the cuticles. And this is the final set. I'm really happy with how they turned out. I think they're super cute, super fun, very time consuming, but very worth it. And I think there's so many different design ideas you could do with this neon nail art hack. And if you don't already, you can always follow me on Instagram and TikTok and send me any other video ideas you'd like to see me do or try out for you guys. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.